Okay, family, I'm back on right quick. We had to discuss on what will be discussed and what won't be discussed on YouTube. Anyway, um, um, y'all, okay, so yesterday we decided, remember I told you guys that I was going to go see Snoop yesterday. Yesterday was my wedding anniversary, so let me tell you how it started off. Let's do that. So it started off, me and Tom had a real cool talk, and all that good old stuff, we talked, and all that stuff, and my, um, my sister came and picked up my baby, so, um, so we just kind of sat around and we talked. We talked about the last 17 years. Um, we talked about what's to come, um, all those type of things. So we, we talked about, we just talked about things. And so, um, so I spent the morning, pretty much the morning with Tom. And I spent the, what did I say, the afternoon, the evening with you? Yeah, huh? The afternoon and the evening with Kent. So that's the way my anniversary went. And, you know, huh? everybody cool with it. Again, everybody. Everybody cool with it. So anyway, um, initially, um, I was, um, I was going to take Tony to go see Snoop because, you know, Tony likes Snoop and, you know, Tony officiates a lot of Snoop games and stuff. But Tony, y'all, is, he's not a square, but Tony is, is uh, he's a different type of cat. Tony is a Capricorn, and, and, and not saying that that has anything to do with it, but, but, I'm, but I say that to say this. Tony is very business, you know, business before pleasure type of cat. You know, I mean, he's one of the motherfucking ones that will stay at the job until the, the janitorial services come in and start cleaning up. He's most of the time the first one to get on that job and the last one to leave. Now, you know, and maybe that, I, maybe that is the reason why he's been on this job for like, I think it just turned like 24 years, 23 years last month. So I guess that's the reason why is because his work ethic is so, um, so cool, you know, so... And then, so he was like, well, no, I just seen that nigga a couple of days ago. I'm cool. I mean, a couple of months ago, I don't need to see him because he had done his game and stuff. And so, you know, Tony is so not, you know, he's never been to jail. He he just, you know, he he's not that type of guy. He's not, he's, you know, he's just not that kind of guy. And his, his, his humor is, um... He has a different type of humor than Ken. See, Ken is a getting out of getting this good type nigga. I mean, we can talk about all kinds of shit type nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me and Ken, we have a hell of a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Not saying that I don't have fun with Tone, because I do have fun with Tone, but it's a different type of fun. See, um, both of them, they're into, like, the history channels and shit. Both of them are into that. Whereas, What's wrong with it? Well, I mean... You learn a lot of stuff. All them little programs and documentaries I've watched keep me aware. Keep me alert. Okay, so... No? They are both into that kind of shit. <laughs> and, shit. you know, it's just what it is. No, honey, keep it on, on, on well, ACTV. I was, I was seeing what he's making. I already saw... I mean, he's putting his... Now, that's one thing me and Ken, me and Ken work real good together because well, I mean, when it came know. down to um to um, putting that addition onto the house, Ken was like the foreman. Even though they, them cats knew what they was doing, he was all like, okay, so we're going to put a such and such on that and where's the square and, you know, and what kind of bracket and <coughs> all that kind of shit. I mean, we was on it. And see, y'all, what a lot of things that you guys don't know about me is I like to build shit. I like to build shit, and this this Ooh, that looks of, nice. You see that island? Yeah. That and, looks nice. And you should put a floating one in there, in the, like one that can be not stationary, but you can pop the wheels and you can move it around. Okay. Uh, and so me and Ken, this is our get down, cause like next month we're gonna start on some new projects, like on my house, and so um, we're doing. I want. 
I was thinking about getting a pool put in. I, I want, instead of now widening the house from the back or whatever, I, I kind of want to make it two-story. I don't know. I just get into shit like that, and I just want to just go, you know. And so, um, but I'm not going to do the two-story thing, not of right now. We'll wait for some other things to crack off before we start doing that. I just really, the thing is, guys, I want to make my house comfortable for my kids when I'm gone. When I'm gone and some shit pop off, they already know, okay, well, we got a house over here off of blah, blah, blah that uh, mama paid for, and boom, this is our home. I don't want my kids because the way the economy and the way shit is, it's scary. And, you know, my whole objective is to prepare my kids for when I'm not here. So right now I'm in the preparing my home mode. And I want, um, I'm getting solar panels put on the on the roof. Um, next month we're going to start, you know, building some things and doing some things, some landscaping and all this kind of cool. stuff. Like and as a matter of fact, I want a lemon tree for the kids and um, maybe tangelos or nectarines or I mean a tangerines or something. So I want I want to do stuff like that to my house. Now I think I want a dog run on the side of the house because guys, guess what? Guess what? Now y'all know I got Tinky and Bash, right? But my ultimate dream dog. Let me tell you what my ultimate ultimate dream dog is that I want. I know I'm all over the place, but fuck. I want a bull mastiff. Yeah, they might get eaten. Yes. <laughs> Give me a mastiff. I want a dog to wear ass. You know, I can leave my purse wide open with a few hundreds hanging out of it, and it's sitting on the seat in my car, and my dog is in my car, and the nigga won't go in. Like, that car, nigga, you don't want to touch it. Do you see that beast? Do you see that bear on the front seat in that car? You know, I want one of those. I want one of them car, one of them dogs that make you be like, God ah, damn, one of those. So I want me a bull mastiff or English mastiff. So anybody that is a breeder or no breeder, uh, for some mastiffs, hook your girl up. Um, you know, and I'm not saying hook me up on give me one for free. I'm not saying that I ain't one of them. Now I do like the hookup, but right now I'm talking about plans. So. And um, I already done the research on them. I mean, the dogs are very, very expensive, guys. I mean, to get a, a full bred mastiff, you're looking at about a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars. You know, especially if they got papers on it. So, I just want me a big ass dog. I mean, I've had my itty bitties, and I love my itty bitties. My itty bitties are the house dogs, but I want some shit in the backyard to where you know ain't nobody gonna jump over this right here. You know, and though mastiffs are very um, fun-loving dogs, they're very territorial, and I like that. So that's the dog that mommy's looking for. Um, yeah, so that's what I want. Um, so anyway, y'all, okay, what else is, because I'm all over the place, Ken. You threw me off. Anyway, last night, we were going out last night, and so y'all... Ken left his wallet at home. He forgot his wallet, and I forgot my purse. Can you believe that? Now, and we got all the way down there. How the fuck was a nigga going to get a drink or anything? We had no money. We had absolutely no money. None, none, none. So, anyway, um, we was all duded up and hooked up. And as a matter of fact, y'all, look, and when we came home, we just started getting naked in the living room. You understand? Now, I had on this corset right here. <laughs> we literally was. You just wore the door closed? Oh, so I wore my red corset right here. It's a red with a black overlay lace, and I wanted to get out for that, you know, for the holiday, for the Valentine's Day thing. Um, I also wanted to, you know, show you guys on how to take the corsets in because let me show you. This corset is a 40. If you can see that, I don't know if it's kind of zooming in. But... Here's like, if you could see where I darted it to bring it in. I don't know if it's going to show you, but I brought it in a lot around, you know, and here's in another area. So I brought it in because I'm a 38, but the 38 corsets are, uh, the, those can be a little bit tighter on my breast. They don't give me enough, you know, so the 40 for my breast work, but the... 
the waste and all that stuff is where I have to take it in. See, I take it in at the bottom, around 